What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing phenomenal, staying positive and definitely staying productive. On this episode, I want to speak to you guys about something really important. Two things that have helped me tremendously along my path of trying to elevate myself and trying to accomplish abundance in every single piece of the pie and life that's possible. You know, it's everybody's goal is to be able to have the best of everything and be able to, to be their best and give their best to the people around them. And these two traits are just really, really, really important. And the core of trying to create anything or change anything or build anything or become anything, they are a staple in every single path and every single endeavor. And if you can nail these two, and it doesn't matter how you nail them, it doesn't matter what the goal is in the beginning. It can just be one thing. Once you get these down, once you understand inside of your mind that these two traits are highly important to your success and for you not to self-sabotage, you will instantly be able to apply it into every other aspect of your life. And whether you like it or not, they are going to flourish. And the first trait is being able to deny yourself instant gratification. That means that you can willingly and honestly say to yourself in the moment, what I want to do right now is not the best thing for me, for my goal. If you can delay instant gratification in the moment, when you're pissed off and you're about to react and you're about to flip out, curse somebody out, change your mood, change your projection for the whole day over one situation in traffic or an altercation with a family member or a friend or something popped up into your relationship, Something happened at work with your colleagues. You got blamed because of something at work, even though it wasn't your fault. If you can, in that moment, tell yourself, no, don't react this way because it's going to throw us off course of the big picture, where we're really trying to get to, you're going to save yourself years and years of anguish and so much drama and so many problems. And the same trait applies to all the small shit that everybody gives into and never gets to the larger rewards in life. You know, they don't understand that the premises behind some of these small vices, whether it's wasting time watching TV, scrolling on social media too much, sleeping in because it feels better, you know, staying up late because it's quiet and they can concentrate on hyper-focusing on another episode on Netflix, or buying little small shit that they really don't need on Amazon or any other, you know, online shopping site because it gives them an instant gratification. Deep down, they want to have a new car. Deep down, they want to take that big trip. Deep down, they want to buy a house. They want to invest into some assets and feel prominent like they're doing something in life, but they're not in a position to do that. So what makes them feel good? Buying a t-shirt, buying a new pair of sneakers, even going to buy a bag. You know, To them, it's expensive. To them, it's worthy. To them, it's, somebody might compliment them and give them that little boost of confidence that lasts for five minutes and numbs the situation that they're trying to you know, put on the back burner in the moment of why they're not in the place that they want to be in life. So if you can deny yourself instant gratification in the moment on the important things that are going to throw you off, those, those habits, those traits, those little things that always constantly pop up that throw you off, you're going to get so far because everybody knows the blueprints. Everybody knows what they should do. It's just that they never stop doing this shit that they need to stop doing. And that's the reason why they don't get everywhere. You know, people know if I eat better and move more, my body's gonna change. If I spend my money differently and spend my time focusing on trying to learn another skill set or improve the ones that I know, I'm probably gonna make a lot more money. Why don't they all have a lot of money? Why don't they all look the way they wanna look? Because they never stop doing all the stuff that self-sabotages themselves. So denying yourself instant gratification on every single level is going to bring you so much success, okay? It doesn't mean that you don't have any instant gratification. It doesn't mean you don't grab an ice cream when you're out and enjoying yourself on your day off. It doesn't mean that you don't watch a TV show or watch a comedy show to have a laugh or have a smile and do something to, to enjoy life, okay? It just means that it's not a common habit. And during the day, instant gratification is forced on you 24 hours a day. Everything you see on TV is buy this, eat this, even on your screen or on your phone. Everything's advertised around you when you're driving. Eat this, buy this, drink this, watch this. Everything is made to trigger you. Everybody's trying to work an algorithm to just get your mind hyper-focusing on either being a viewer 
or a consumer, okay? Because they make money on both of those. So just concentrate on this one trait and it's gonna serve you well. The second thing is to be able to detach your emotional state from your logic thinking, okay? Detach your emotional state from your logical thinking. All day long, you're gonna be triggered. There's gonna be a million and one excuses for a person to say why they didn't stick to their plan. You know, what's their goal? They're trying to lose some weight, they're trying to build some muscle, they're trying to compete a marathon, they're trying to step on stage as a bodybuilder, they're trying to make the team, they're trying to finish their degree, they're trying to save up money for a house, they're trying to work on that promotion at work, they're trying to beat five other people in their division. You know, whatever the goal is, there's gonna be so many things that pop up every single day that's gonna change your emotional state. And like I always say in all of my posts, all my videos for years, if you dictate and choose your next move based on your next mood, you're fucked. You know what I mean? Like if your next move, if your next decision, where you're putting your, your piece on the chessboard is dictated by your next mood, you're done. There's 120 some emotions that the human being can go through. Most people can only identify with six, seven of them if you ask them. You know, they, they haven't actually dwelled into that to understand the, the intricacy of how complex the mind and the, and the body is hormonally when it comes to emotions. But people will say happy, sad, confused, anxious, frustrated, the basic stuff that they go through through a day. But even if you use those simple seven triggers during the day, how are you going to be able to accomplish your goal if everything out there triggers you? Okay. So whatever the goal is, you're trying to complete your degree, get your promotion, buy a house, start a business, launch a website, launch a service, uh, lose body weight, build some muscle, whatever that goal is. If you can't detach those triggers and your emotional responses from the tasks that you need to do, you're not going to get that far. Because if you have two people in the same situation that both want to accomplish the same goal and we just give them a, a regular day's you know, problems, you know, they wake up in the morning time earlier than they wanted to because the neighbor's dog is barking or somebody is making noise or their kid was crying or was up all night sick. Trigger number one, on the way to work or on the way to drop off their kid at school, there's a problem with the car or there's traffic. Trigger, trigger number two, they get into an altercation with somebody, um, a stranger at a gas station, petrol station, or one of the other moms in front of the school, you know, or somebody texts them. Their mom texts both of them and is mad at them because they're concentrating on their goal and they didn't show up to the family dinner on the weekend and they, they put the guilt trip on them. The next trigger, it's not even fucking 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, during the day while they're at work now, they get blamed for something that they didn't do just because they're on the team, even though they're the hardest one on the team. Trigger number five, six, right there, right? Um, somewhere in the afternoon, they get a text from something that was supposed to be done from the bank or the cell phone company or from a contractor at the house that was supposed to fix something, and that didn't go through. Trigger number eight that we're at by now, right? Now it's time for them to pack up their shit and, and get home and start working on their goal in their free time between their errands and cooking and the house stuff and the kids and the pets, or maybe even if they're single. They've had so many triggers along that path. Um, say they're dating somebody or married to somebody and that person comes home with a mood because they had a shitty day. Trigger number 10, we're at. Are they gonna go to the gym, like they said, or do their workout at home? Probably not, if, if they work off of emotions. Are they gonna eat clean? You know, because they need to finally lose that last 20 pounds that they've been talking about for four or five years? Probably fucking not. If they, if they react off of emotional state, they're going to be like, oh man, that $5 tub of worthless Ben and Jerry's is going to make me feel so much better for about six minutes until I look at myself in the mirror again. You know, how about the two hours they need to graft and change all the uh, literature and all the stuff that they wrote on their homepage and their landing page for their website that they're trying to launch? They're not going to do that. They're going to say, oh, poor me and my story today. I deserve to watch four episodes of Game of Thrones or Sex in the City or whatever the fuck people watch on TV. I'm using old episodes. I stopped watching TV in 2007, so I don't know what's on there. You know, if you can't detach your emotional state from your logical state, you'll never be able to accomplish anything. That's why people that have this skill set nailed have those positions. You know, people will say, oh, that person's connected or he's a man that's why he has that job and not me not a woman or whatever the case may be why is he the ceo or the cfo 
It's because these people at that level can separate everything from their logical state. You know, they're going to have problems with their wife or husband or children and get all sorts of texts and calls through the day. But they can sit there through four board meetings back to back, you know, with the marketing team, with the finance team, with the um, the new prospect of, of what they're going to invest into and stay hyper focused on that at that moment, because that's the task at hand. So if you can separate your logical and emotional state while you're trying to accomplish your tasks, you've beat 99.9% .9 of the world, all right? Like I said before with the other situation, the delaying instant gratification, it's not that you don't know what to do. It's that you don't know how to take care of yourself in the process of doing that. You need to get rid of these habits. You need to get rid of these traits, you know, before you try to build new ones. You know, people are trying to master, they're trying to look for the next hack and the new tip and the new this and the new that. So, and, and they're like, well, why am I not succeeding at my goal? Why am I not doing this? I've had people say to me, like, I'm super busy with work. I've got lists and lists and lists and lists and lists and stuff. I'm always backed up with work, just packed with work. And I don't have huge followings or anything. I just create value. I just give people what they want. And then I've all these people that are like, why are you so busy, coach? You know, you don't do this with the algorithms and you don't do that with that because I'm not trying to find the next hack. You know, I'm just trying to give something that works. If I tried to find the next, you know, get out of jail free card and how to do it easy, that what, what's trending right now, I'm going to have to stay on that pattern for the next, you know, foreseeable future until I retire out of this uh, service-based industry. So I don't do that. I look at it from the beginning and say, well, if that's the game plan that they're playing and they got to switch their game plan every three months, six months, every year, that's horrible. I don't want to do that. You're never going to get good at doing that. You're going to get good at doing that at that moment and then have to switch to the next one. So why don't I just get really, really, really good at doing this, what I'm actually selling and what I'm doing. So you need to be able to try to control these two things. Now, all of us get worked up and all of us get some crazy bad news that throws us the fuck off. We're human. I'm human too. I've had some crazy situations in my life that have really thrown me off course and it was really, really difficult to stay on, but I stayed on course. I stayed on course to the best of my ability to, to everything that I could control within my hands. I did the best that I could have. And it brought me so much more than I could have ever imagined. Like I planned to get to here and I got to here because of this simple trait. And the other one, delaying instant gratification. All right. That's why it's so important with the fitness. The fitness, you, you work hard, you work consistently for small gains. You know, it takes weeks sometimes to lose that extra pound. If someone told you to work for weeks to make a hundred bucks, you would fucking hang up the phone. So, but if you can apply that discipline and that consistency to your life, you're going to do phenomenal. The food, it's not about the food, why it's so important, well, it is for your health. But the reason I tell people it's so important with food if you really want to get successful in life is because you make that decision five times a day. Like for most of us that are active or trying to be active, we're having three meals a day and two snacks, maybe a snack between lunch and dinner, and then maybe a snack before uh, bedtime. So you're eating, you're choosing to put something in your mouth five times a day. That's a choice you make commonly. Nobody's making five choices a day of what new car to buy, what house to buy, what new outfit to buy, or what new lover or what partner to have. No, not five times a day. But food is the most common thing you do every single day. Brush your teeth, take a shit, take a shower, go to the bathroom to pee, drink water, and food. But food is a choice. The other things are a given. The other things are a given. If you can get really, really good at making the best choices with the most common decision that you make on a daily basis, which is your nutrition, you can start to get good at making the best decisions you can with other things in life. But if you can't make good decisions with your food, then shit. You've got no control over anything else because your hand is yours and your mouth is yours. And what you put in here is up to you. So when people say to me, a coach, I, I broke with my diet. I can't control this. I can't control that. I forgot to bring this to work because I don't prioritize this or I forgot to bring a snack in the car. It's like, well, it's great. You want the goal. You want the idea of it, but you don't want to do the work that's behind it. So if you suck at doing this, I hope you don't put a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars into a uh, an investment property or into um, a business buying a product and trying to sell it wholesale because you're going to get slaughtered in that game against somebody who's really consistent. 
So I hope this can help you guys and bring you guys some value. It's brought me tremendous amount of success and it's not a hard thing to do. It starts with you and then it translates into everything else into your life. For the people out there that want to uh, get in shape, get fit, I've got a free program for the men and for the women. Just send me a DM or send me an email or contact me on any of my social media pages. Go into my uh, bio here on YouTube and you'll see how to be able to contact me and I'll send you a free workout with some nutrition advice, stress management, time management, to just to get you started. You don't have to pay anything for it. I want everybody out there to get healthy and fit and pass the habits to their family. And for those that have asked, my app is now live on both the Google Play Store and on the Apple Store. So anybody who wants to jump on the program, it's phenomenal. There's, the application has everything possible inside of there. You have your custom nutrition with a million different choices. Everything is registered on there. You've got 4 million foods. You've got 60,000 entrees and starters from restaurants around the world. You can use the barcode scanner. You've got all your workouts with all your videos. So you don't know, you don't have to worry about anything. Everything that you want to be able to do with me, which is privately, it's not an offset copy and paste program. Everybody gets a customized program, but you have everything on one application. It tracks your parameters. It has an AI system involved in it. So your sleep, your steps, your food, your stress, your digestion, your progress, your obstacles, everything is tracked so we can make changes and get you to be able to succeed. If you're interested in that, give me a shout and wish you guys the best. See you guys on the next episode. Let nothing and nobody get in the way of the life that you want to live. Take care of yourself.